Good day guys, in this video I'll be taking you guys on how to fix your textures after importing it from 3D modeling app to Prisma 3D or maybe Recon 4D. In the previous video I posted, I later realized that when I tried to apply a texture on the model, it actually looks like this. I know what you'll be saying that there's nothing actually going on here that I apply the color to one and also the other with the texture but honestly the both of them are actually textures so we had to create a model app to fix the problem so I understand the same thing applies to our Prisma 3D wherever you try to extrude you can actually import the file here and try to fix it firstly I had to dye uh, three lines up there to select on the model and also click on the three dots then head to um, that place it says textures that symbol and click on it so after that you import a texture well for me this texture have a wooden texture so I'll apply that to it for the UV mapping We realize that the texture is not looking as bright as the same way we imported it into um, Prisma 3D. So now we'll be heading to uh, that three lines up there again and next we'll be selecting is where it says UV editor. So that's sorry for the mistake. So you're gonna be hitting the um, UV editor. Once you've tapped on it, there you get a face like this. Normally you're supposed to uh, multi-select but you get message like this saying uh, rectangular selection is disabled due to performance issue or something like that so now this is actually how I fix mine head to where they say uh, UV tools and once you're done you click on the switch to OBJ mode or object mode yeah so once you're done you click on firstly you highlight the model and then click on auto UV so just like that you will get your model uh, or the textures applied properly so that's how I actually do mine so you can go ahead and uh, you know uh, export it to Prisma or Recon or any 3D modeling app so I figured there's a problem when trying to export um, the file to Prisma you need to delete the textures first by heading back to the textures and also you can actually export to Prisma so let's try exporting it to Prisma 3D to see how it actually looks so there's it and we'll separate it first and then we can apply the textures now, now we actually have our textures applied with no corruptions or any problems please if you find the video helpful please like and subscribe